Smith. I'm here with my latest instrument, Evolver. Evolver is what I like to call a stereo monophonic instrument. It's monophonic in that it's a single voice instrument, like a classic analog synth, uh, but it's stereo. It's got a complete stereo signal path, so there's actually two of everything inside. It's got real analog filters as opposed to modeled analog, which is what most synthesizers are these days. Uh, but it's got a combination of a lot of new features also. I didn't want to just make another retro synth and make something that's been done many times before. I wanted to go beyond that. So I've added some new features that take advantage of both the uh, analog sound and the analog electronics as well as digital processing uh, to come up with some new ideas. In a nutshell, it's got four different oscillators. Two are analog and two are digital. The digital oscillators have wave shapes that come from the old Prophet DS uh, that also allow you to do wave sequencing with them, which is quite fun. Um, then we've got the uh, low-pass filters, again, one for each channel, independent um, in analog. Uh, there's a digital high-pass filter. There's a lots of effects. Uh, I've always been a fan of feedback in synthesizers, the idea of taking the output of the synthesizer and running it back to the input. And nobody's really put that in an instrument, so I thought it was time. So there's a dual feedback as tune feedback in Evolver that can add all sorts of chaos to the uh, instrument. There's also a step sequencer, a 16 by 4 analog style sequencer. Um, and the parameters could be routed to uh, many different destinations. There's lots of modulation routing all over inside the instrument. And uh, it's pretty deep. You spend lots of time digging into this instrument. And fortunately, it's very easy to program because we've got a front panel matrix. All the parameters are right here. There's nothing hidden. You don't have to dig through menus to find out what you want. You just uh, pick a row. and have got eight parameters that can be uh, immediately played with. Evolver comes with three banks of 128 programs. So you have 384 programs to work with. And of course, these can all be dumped to and from MIDI. Um, it comes preset with a number. Uh, the first bank is set up to be used as a sequencer without a keyboard. Uh, the second bank of sounds is set up to be played with a keyboard and not necessarily with the sequencer. Uh, and some sounds are in the third bank are just droning sounds. Some of the patches are specifically used either for monophonic input, specifically guitar, or a stereo input for doing different types of processing there. So for uh, instant gratification to get started, you can just select one of the different sounds depending on what you're doing and then just go through and edit it. For example, this sound, I could just start playing it and I could change it pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. <laughs> I could just save that to the same location or save it to a new location as a, as a separate patch. While I'm playing Evolver now, just holding it in my lap with just this stereo outputs going straight to the speakers, you could also, of course, plug in a MIDI keyboard and play it that way like you would a standard monophonic synthesizer. A uh, feature in Evolver is that you can have a MIDI overflow mode where you can connect one Evolver to the next one and chain up a few of them if you want to operate it in polyphonic mode. So if you put five of them together, you can have an Evolver 5 uh, quite easily. And what's nice is you can use the first one and the string to control all the other ones. So as you change programs or even change the parameters, it will do it for all the uh, synthesizers connected at the same time. So it's a pretty flexible unit that way. One of the other things you can do with Evolver is use it as a signal processor module. It's got stereo input, so you can run a stereo signal through it, or you could even run a monophonic signal. Like, for example, if I put the guitar input into it, and then run that guitar input to both channels, I could do quite a few different things. Uh, for example, I could use the delay line for a simple delay effects. <laughs> example where I'm using the internal tune delays of Evolver to play with the guitar sounds so it 
tends to sustain and feed back at different frequencies, and I can play around with that quite a bit. <laughs> external signal as the trigger for the sequencer. So every time it gets a audio pulse, it will advance the sequence. I could do things like this. So I'll go through here and play a few sounds and uh, edit some of them just for fun. So you can get an idea of uh, what it sounds like, and uh, you have to remember this is only one voice. I'm playing it without a keyboard, just because it's fun to do, just sit it on my lap here and go. Of course, you could plug it, a keyboard into it, uh, as any other synthesizer, and play it from there like a standard uh, monophonic synth. So... <laughs> you can get some uh, instant soundtracks out of this uh, tiny little box. Um, the nice thing about it, you get a lot of sound from a little box, a lot of new sounds, which is always nice, not the same old things you've been hearing forever and ever. Um, and I think it came out pretty well. It's got its own personality. I've always been a fan of products of musical instruments that have personality to them, and uh, Evolver certainly fits in that mold. Yeah. 